Hello and welcome to this getting started tutorial for Battlesnake. My name's Andrew and I'm super excited to be your guide to getting your first Battlesnake off the ground today. So to get started, you'll need to come and join me over here on play.battlesnake.com and to create an account. Now, what's great about Battlesnake is it integrates directly with GitHub. So if you've got a GitHub account, you can go in and create an account just with one click, which will bring you over to a view that looks like this. Congratulations, you have your Battlesnake account and you can continue with this tutorial. All right, so you might be asking yourself, how do I build my first Battlesnake? Well, the best place to look when trying to do something like this is in the docs. And if you head over to the left-hand side of the screen, we've got our read the docs button there, and it brings you over to the Battlesnake documentation. Now, if you read through here, there's lots of awesome, interesting stuff, but what we're gonna focus on today is the quick start. Now, with the quick start, um, we're going to get you started using a really simple uh, Battlesnake template in a number of really popular languages. And to get started with using our quick starts, you need two things set up. The first one is going to be a Battlesnake account, and the second is going to be a Replit account. And Replit is an online IDE that is just a really great starting place for, uh, for building your first Battlesnake. All right, so once you've got an account set up in both those platforms, you're gonna to need to choose one of these starter projects. Now, Python is the most popular language over on play.battlesick.com, so let's get started with Python. All right, so here we are on Replit um, and we have got our starter sake Python uh, template here. We're just gonna click use template. And as you notice, we need to sign up here. We can again, just continue with GitHub. And here we are able to use the template, click on that use template button and uh, start that process. And Replit is gonna spin up a new REPL for us. Now, it'll take a couple of minutes just to get started and you'll notice that we've got a lot of stuff, but here we go, we have our Replit up and ready to go. And uh, you'll know it's ready to go when you have that big run button at the top and we've got our, uh, our main.py file here and then we've got our console and shell on the right hand side. So. First things first, we are going to want to make sure that this Battlesnake is working. So we're gonna click on this big run button up at the top and let's look in our shell to see and our, and our console to see what's there. Fantastic. So it looks like we've got our Battlesnake running. We've got our basic Battlesnake with very little customization. So let's go in ahead and do some customizations in here. First thing we're gonna do is let's customize our name and then let's give it a fun color. And I think that's gonna give me the color that I want and we'll leave our head and tail as it stands right now. You'll notice that nothing's changed over here, but if I refresh, still nothing. So let's stop and start again. And there we go. We have our Python Battlesnake almost ready to go. And there we go. So you'll notice that there's some code that's changed in there. We've got our new color and our author. So let's grab the URL that is presented there because that is the URL for our Battlesnake. And we can head back over to our quick start guide to see what is next. So we've already done our customization. Uh, we've already deployed and we're running our Battlesnake. So now we need to actually create our Battlesnake in the system. So let's head over and follow this link to create a new Battlesnake. Let's call this our Python snake. Uh, we'll set it up with our standard engine region. Let's add the URL in there. Um, we could put a description, but let's put some tags of Python and Replit. Awesome. And uh, we're going to save our Battlesnake. Now, if everything's gone right, we should get a pop-up right here that says our metadata has been refreshed and our snake has been created. And you can see I have my fun color Python snake, red Python snake in there. Perfect. So our Battlesnake is created in our system. What is next? Well, once our Battlesnake is in the system, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is to create our first game. So let's head over and create our first game back over in play.battlesnake.com. Click on the Create Game button on the left-hand side, and it's gonna bring you into this Create Game view. Let's uh, choose a map, our standard map and our medium size. Let's add our Python snake to the game along with a couple of other bots just to see how we do, and click Start Game. Fantastic. So we have our first game up here. You can see Python snakes in the bottom left hand corner there. Let's kick play and see how he does. Well, it looks like Python Snake didn't do too well, but that's not surprising because um, Python Snake has got some really basic code that just makes him run here in Battlesnake, but hasn't quite been updated. And if you head back over here into the quick start, you are looking to get your snake better than random as part of the next step. But that's gonna be a piece for the next tutorial. So take a look over here at the quick start and uh, start the process of uh, making your snake better than random. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Good luck and happy battle snaking. Bye-bye.